106. 106 KMEL. You have a new EP coming out this year. Yeah, I have two. Okay. That create a whole album. Crown is an EP and Jewel is an EP also. Um, Crown Jewel is the album together. Um, six songs on each. Okay. Of course, when it's an album, it creates 16 songs because it's <laughs> two added to each one, yeah. however they're going to do that thing. Yeah. Um, but the reason why I broke it into two is a lot of people still now, even after about seven years at doing it at this height yeah don't know that I've done something I mean else for, no you're gonna say you're gonna say no I really I get it I'm like no you have no idea if you go if you look out to a fan of my music as far as the dream yeah that fan is different from the fan from the writer okay like and they would know like the writer person would say oh sure I know you wrote flawless for Beyonce I know you wrote holy grail for Jay like yeah. I know that but the person on the other room for the dream side yeah. would have no idea. Like they would just say, oh, well, all I know is the That's My Ish single is out right now. Yeah. <laughs> so and we're so going to talk about that because that is a banger right there. So do you feel like that's kind of like a tear for you? Because I know you're yeah. an amazing writer, but you're also an amazing it, artist. I think it hurts all of us. And, 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 and I wouldn't say that if, if I didn't have so much more to give. Like yeah. there's so many... I don't know where the end of the rabbit hole is, even for myself. And every now and then I found, find it. Um, I remember um, after I wrote Umbrella, mm -hmm. what it felt like to find another, I guess, um, depth in the, in the hole. Like, mm -hmm. and say, oh my God, like, yeah. this is a whole nother thing. Mm -hmm. But in that space and being in the studio, you know, along with my comrades and stuff, I was able to breathe like that. It wasn't no bounds. It wasn't a, a box I was yeah. in. It was just no come up with whatever you think, you know, because it's not that everything you do is going to be great, but just having the chance to be great. Express yourself and yeah. do it. Yeah. And so, so now I think it's a tear for me just because I don't, I can't get that box throughout the world to say, yo, let him do what he does mm -hmm. to see what comes of it. Like, mm -hmm. of course, if 99 things are, are not good, then it's like, okay, those, those are okay. <laughs> those but if we create that one thing that's like, oh, man, that that's just it. changed music. Yeah. You know, that would be great. It's so many great writers that deal with that, that same thing. I, I don't think we give Neo the credit. He deserves, mm -hmm. like, from a writing standpoint. Um, mm -hmm. There's just a lot of great songwriters who are also artists that you just have to give a different thing to right you know we're not right. just r&b artists you know? we're not just r is that like the new thing right now because i know you were not the first but one of the first to be an, a writer slash r&b artist yeah but I, i'm starting to see that more i think i did it in a in a more cultural standpoint yeah. because i'm probably as trick would say it, i'm more hip-hop bound my thinking is more along how a rap guy would think yeah. as far as how i do my business and how i conduct myself so i think the edginess in how I say certain things mm -hmm. was the new form of what R and B became. It's like the club you know? bangers. It, yeah. yeah. So, um, and I mean, you guys know you guys started. <laughs> I love your girl out here. So it was like, is that an R and B guy saying f that what? Like <laughs> exactly. And, you know, that's and, all day. And so, with with that being said, you know, like I I know that that happened. I know certain careers for sure that has changed when that lane was opened up to right. say, oh, R&B artists can say this now. Right, it's you okay know. to do that. It's okay to do this and say it this way. But what I never dropped is I didn't stop thinking that I needed to be sweet, you uh -huh. know, um, to, to women. Like if you listen to the message, like because my infinity for for the love of a woman is will always just be there, mm -hmm. just through my mom. So mm -hmm. how I always break things down, I think certain artists kind of took it a little too far and now we're in this space where it's like, it seems like the guys don't really like girls anymore. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what that is. They just want to f***ing, that's it. Like, what she said, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just that. It's like, I'm like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, right. I'd rather fall in love 20 times and then it just not work 20 times versus yeah. just say, oh, I'm just not going to give it a chance. Speaking of falling in love, you just ooh, reminded me. Ooh, so ooh. we're going to, I'm going to ask you a question because it is a rumor. Did you get married in San Francisco last year? Yeah, down at the Capitol. What the hell? You came to San Francisco and got married and said nothing. Like, we could have, see the space, we could have did a little oh, I figured personal I, pop a bottle. Exactly. See, I figured it out. I was like, mm -mm, you know what I'm going to do this time? Go straight mm -mm. to the courthouse? No, I'm going to just go on and just, nope. What made you want to do it as a, as a secret and here of all places? It wasn't really that it was a secret. I just didn't go out my way to tell anybody. So. Okay. Um, no, it was just, it, it was a beautiful place. You see, of course, you City Hall downtown, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. And you know they call this place Paris of the West, right? Really? 
I see I'm from here, born and raised, so I don't know what y'all call it. For all those who are living in San Francisco, Frisco. if you didn't know, it's called Paris of the West, so of course that goes with my whole yeah. situation. So, no, it was a beautiful place. Um, and yeah, I had a ball. It's pretty, pretty good. Nice and, nice and cute on a nice little hard drive. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate Six it. Six months in, how's married life? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah, nobody knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he like that's how I like it. No yeah, drama. Just get to go home and build stuff, fix the brakes on the car, go on dates, go to the movies. Fix the brakes on the car. You ain't fixing no brakes. See, that's what I said. Y'all don't know me. What? See, it's okay though. When the hell did you take a class or something like that? What take you a, a YouTube mechanic? Take a class. Well, how you, you fix the brakes? You know being broke is at seventeen. If your brakes don't work, <laughs> you gotta go to AutoZone to get them brakes fixed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Quit playing. You gotta oh bleed the lines, get the air out the lines. You don't want to run into somebody after you change them. But no, you need to stop. That's it. another segment. <laughs> oh God. That's what's wrong with you. See, she ain't got no ring on her finger. Excuse me. What they gotta do with anything? I'm, I'm happy why you, single. I know because you can't. You ain't ran into a guy that can fix your brakes. That's true. You can't fix near brake. Not a damn break. See? In years. Once it happens, you're going to be like, oh my God, you're going to call me on the phone, dream. He fixed me a pie and fixed my break. You know how he fixed my break? And blew my back out. Listen but anyway. that new record. <laughs> <laughs> so, lead single off the new album, featuring T.I. Yes. That's my sh. Yes. That is my sh. Though. Yes, I'm glad you like it. I do, definitely. You've been a great response back. Yeah, I think I'm back in that um, dreamy place. In that dreamy place? Yeah. So, 2015 is looking like it's going to be huge. Yeah, man. What? It's, it's looking good so far. It's looking good. Any yeah. goals that you want to accomplish this year? I know you're dropping I just two get, EPs. I just want to get out as much music as I can um, the right way and try to... Um, I, was, I met with Apple yesterday. I'm just trying to figure out how to create a system for, for us writers that, mm -hmm. that allow us to kind of put out more music and not be bound by the, the technological, like what goes up, what is in the new and noteworthy section, and you know, yeah. just certain stuff. And you know, I understand why that has to happen if, you're, if you release an album once every two years, but for somebody like me and the other writers who write at a prolific um, um, height, like it's, it's just a lot for us to sit there and hold this information for for a whole year. Like you're right. talking about a song a day on average. Really? Yeah, at least. Jesus. Yeah. So that's how do you filter through that to figure out which ones you want to send out? See, that's what I'm saying. We shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> so it should, it should, it should be, be like be a, a catalog, database like, for you to go pick the dreams catalog. But then when people like read that and then try to steal your message or steal your sound in, in a sense? You can't steal anybody's sound. Nothing new not under God. Not a sound, but you know, like a lyric, a line, something along those lines. Or twist it up a little bit so it's not stealing it. But, you know, I know you have That's that. just a culture. You got to charge it to the game. Really? Yeah, you got to charge it to the game. Now, if somebody has stolen Umbrella before you had a chance to you release think it. That, you think that people haven't stolen an Umbrella? I mean, they stole the swag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's even more. That's worse. That doesn't bother you? No. Why? Cause it's it's like a, you know it's like a fan of a fan, of a fan. So we have stuff. Like it's like it's like fan. Prince. Like okay. you know I have like Prince inspired stuff on on my records. Like I mm -hmm. I love Prince. Like it's, it is what it is. So hopefully he would feel good knowing that like oh this guy who's went on to become this Grammy winner like yeah. you know was inspired by me. So that's how I would feel. Well, I'm looking forward to see what you do in 2015. Like, Ooh. super humble, super chill. Don't let the tabloids fool you. This you is messing the up, dream. So you messing up my thug, man. You messing up my thug. <laughs> Where the sunglasses at? That's what I was expecting. Oh, man. Six sunglasses. Get, oh, man. I gotta, yeah. Oh, I got to get them out. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Okay, cool. We good now. Oh, he got swag for days with them on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got, <laughs> really? <laughs> I need some coffee or something. At once. Hey. <laughs> so people want to follow you and see what you got going on and just check on you for 2015. The King Dream, mm -hmm. of course, is my Twitter account. The King Dream is also my Instagram account. You can also go to CountryParis.com Country and buy some stuff. Yeah, have stuff on there for sale. And the new EP drops when? March 31st, and that's the Crown EP. The Jewel EP drops on June 9th. All right, there it is. Your girl Shay Diddy, the dream. Jill, you in VIP. My homie, right here, is my homie.